Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, before I get this video started, I want to say a huge, like, huge thank you to um, everybody who has subscribed, new subbies, old subbies. Um, I was on the channel the other day and I saw like I'd reached over a thousand subscribers and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I was just really excited. I was like, really? Like, um, I know you guys know I don't um, post as many videos as some of the other like YouTubers, hair YouTubers. Um, I am mainly like on the blog writing posts and sort of sharing hair care experience and stuff there. But um, I'm really, really, really grateful for your support. Um, so yeah, God bless you guys. Thank you so much for showing some love. And um, yeah, just wanted to say like a really, really big thank you. Anyway, on to this video now. So obviously you guys can see here, and from the title, I am sporting the RPG show Ashanti and um, Full Lace Wig Unit, which was sent to me by RPG Show. Um, first things first, let me just tell you guys, I love this wig. So whatever I say, um, the summary is I love this unit. Um, the hair you may have already seen on YouTube um, being sported by the beautiful American ladies, um, Lakia Star and Fabulosity It's Me. Their unit is different. I have different specs and you're probably more familiar with the unit being the two-tone unit that's also um, modeled on the website um, whereby you have like a two-tone effect so it starts off like black and then it fades into this like bold snazzy like red and it's like ah. so um, yeah they have that I have different specs because I am like plain Jane boring um, but yeah so let me just give you guys some information on this unit and the specs that I have so when you receive the unit it is sent in this box which is the RPG show statement box um, mine is a little bit ragged sorry it followed me on holiday so that's my excuse and um, in this box you receive six items. So obviously first of all you get the actual hair, which is in a um, plastic kind of plastic bag, you know, like a freezer bag kind of um, Ziploc kind of bag kind of thing. And um, it's also in a net, in a hair net. Um, you also receive inside this box a magazine. So it's literally like the RPG hair show magazine where they are like, they have models wherein all of their units, not all of them, but a lot of their units. And this is basically Temptation. So um, yeah, this is a really good idea. Also inside the box, you get um, the the blah, 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 blah. you receive a um, I'd call it like a stock cap, and it basically is like a netted stock cap, so you can wear that underneath your hair. And it's a really good idea because um, it kind of helps to make the hair that you've plaited away or whatever more compact. Um, another thing that you get is this, and I think this is such an amazing, amazing um, thing to get with the box, and that is an instruction booklet. It is like 14 pages long, guys. It's literally like a book, and um, it gives you advice on how to take it off, how to cut your lace, how to wash the unit, and things like that. Like, it's really, really detailed, and there are loads of pictures inside it as well. So, that was a great idea, guys. Great idea. Um, another thing that you get, which I love, is this. This right here, which is a paddle brush. Sorry if you can see the hair. Yeah, um, but this has been a godsend. Um, you know usually you're sent like things to review and you get like um, extra freebies, which is great, but a lot of the time you feel like you can't use them um, because they're like, I don't know, they're just useless. But this, nah, this was or has been amazing. This has been really good to me. It's a really good quality brush, so that was great. And finally, and almost most importantly, is your spec card. So that's this tiny little piece of paper that you get that tells you what you have got going on on your head. Um, so here is the information on what I have. So I have, as you know, the Ashanti Full Lace Wig Unit. It has a code as well. Um, I'm going to put all of the information below. And the hair colour I have is a 1B off black. As I said, I'm very boring, plain Jane. Um, hair length, 18 inches. Um, let me show you guys how long that comes up to on me. I'm like 5'5", five five, maybe 5'4". Five um, and at the front, that is like here. And at the back, I think it's kind of like mid-back length. I'm wearing black, sorry, so it doesn't really show up too great. But 
yeah, that ends here on me. So it's really, really long. And also, I used my tip rule to make sure that it was the right length, just for reviewing purposes, of course. Um, what else? Okay, so the hair texture is yucky. Um, and the lace colour, so the actual lace of the wig, is a light brown. Cap construction is glueless. And what else, what else, what else? Cap size is size 1, the smaller size. So, pros and cons, guys. Pros and cons. <sighs> Where to start? The pros. So, one thing I love about the hair is that I don't find that it sheds. The shed, it has like, a very minimal shedding. Um, nothing like, excessive. And, um... Yeah, I haven't noticed any like super like crazy shedding with the hair and also I don't find that it tangles. It does need brushing every now and again. Well, it needs brushing every day, but um, yeah, nothing excessive. So another thing, another pro would have to be, I think basically that the specs were met. So um, like I said, I measured the hair and it was actually longer than 18 inches in some places. Um, the texture, okay, yes, 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 yes. The texture resembles the texture of relaxed hair, straight and relaxed hair. So it's not, you know, that silky smooth glide, but it is definitely, you know, it is still smooth, but it's just very natural looking, natural in a sense that like natural looking like relaxed hair. And um, yeah, I love that. Um, I'm trying to think, yeah, so the texture is really, really nice, basically. Um, another thing, the specs met the length, the texture, the cap construction, I think, was really, a really great. I like the way it was constructed. So at the back, you have this kind of, like, fastener that allows you to tighten the cap. And also, you have clips sort of situated in the front area of the wig. And you can, um, it helps you secure the wig um, a little bit better. So, yeah, that was really great. And, um... The goodies, the freebies that came were the stock cap and the brush, so that was really great. I love the presentation, and also the delivery time was really, really quick. So those are the pros. Now onto the cons. So funnily enough, the cons actually outweigh the pros um, in terms of quantity, but I still love the wig, and for me, quality overall is like a thumbs up. Um, so here go. The cons were... Yes, the first one I was talking about. So, although the hair doesn't shed or there's no excessive shedding, um, the hair is thin. It is a thin unit. I can't remember how many grams it is. I will put the information below once I find out. This is how thin it is. Um, which I'm not really feeling. But, I mean, it's okay. It's not too bad. Um, yeah. So, the hair is thin. Another thing as well was, this may not be a con for other people, but... It may just be that my head is really small. I found that the cap is too small, so I did use the fastener at the back to make it tight, but I also had to use a safety pin to make it even tighter. So another con was also that because of the texture, so this is tex texture dependent, and um, because of the texture, um, if you're not wearing something that's really silky or like you know got a satin or wearing a satin material, then you will experience some static. So it's good to have your paddle brush in your bag because you may just get some fuzzy pieces at the back. Um, yes, and finally there was another one. Wearing the unit up because the cap size was too big for me, and I did have to use a safety pin, and I'm not sewing anything or anything like that. There's the, I can't wear it up because it's really crazy at the back. It's crazy. Now on to probably the most important con, um, the lace wig. The lace I found to be extremely noticeable. Um, just, I mean, I, I wore the full lace wig to t in, when I travelled away to Thailand and that was fine because I was like oh nobody knows me but as soon as I got back home I was just like no 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 this isn't cool like really what was I thinking so um, I know that when your lace wig is noticeable you can kind of opt for one of the following you can um, bleach your knots if your knots are visible or really noticeable you can like um, use concealer and um, try to blend your lace wig with the colour of your scalp 
or you can opt for like a tea bag like method or something like that. I'm sure there are other methods, but so that's basically to kind of like naturally dye the lace. I actually opted for the third option um, as opposed to the other ones because um, number one, the bleaching and everything, I just really couldn't be bothered to do all of that. I didn't have any time. Um, number two, concealer. Um, my bedroom is in the loft and my lighting is awful, especially in the mornings. The third option went awfully wrong in that um, I did the tea bag method and it gave the lace a kind of reddish brown kind of um, colour. So that was completely off. So yeah, the lace is too noticeable for me. Of course it's a pro that you can part the hair anywhere, um, but if the lace is noticeable you're not going to want to do that. So in the end I decided to make this a non 100% protective style and actually snip the lace. So I snipped the lace just in the middle, literally like just one slip, one snip and um, took some of my hair and used a little bit of it as leave out. It was extremely like minimal, um, so I guess this this wig has ended up being a U-part wig in a sense, yeah it's a U-part U -part wig and um, it's more like 97% protective style and 98% or something like that, it's just not 100% for me anyway so, but I'll show you guys, I mean the leave out is really 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 small. This is the leave out I have on one side and here I've just attached clips so that's on both sides and um, yeah that's literally it. So this is really small, this isn't anything that like worries me. Um, so yeah that's it, like I said I still do love the unit and um, yeah that's kind of it. I just wanted to show you guys that like, these are my initial thoughts. Um, all in all I'm very happy with the service and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to just show you guys now how I install. Um, and yeah, so that's basically it. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a great day. Um, be productive, be nice to somebody you know, and um, take care. So, till next time. All right, bye. Tonight is the moment, the beginning of life I, Tonight is the weekend, so it's gonna be like I, I, Forget about the weekend It's the past where we move on Thank God it is a Friday And we're here all alone We're gonna have a party Where to step in the zone About the weekend, it's the past when we move on. Let's try to use a Friday, and we're here all alone. We're gonna have a party, let two step in. It's on and on and on, and we go till the break of dawn.